today's pick, we look at the rapidly growing legion of foreign workers and the changing face of business in Japan. Japanese companies have long been hesitant to add non-Japanese to their workforce, but that appears to be changing. Our visits to several companies show that they are now starting to tap into the global talent pool more aggressively than ever before. The report we're about to show you was made just prior to the March 11th earthquake, which affected many of these companies' initiatives. Even small manufacturers are starting to tap foreign workers to survive in the competitive business environment. This precision equipment maker has 90 employees. On this day, they welcomed a Nepalese and Chinese into their team. Metrol's main product is a precision sensor used in machine tools. The sensor, which can calculate the position of a drill tip to a micrometer, has a 70% share of the global market. Until recently, the company had relied on trading firms and agents for international sales. But three years ago, it opened a branch in Shanghai, allowing it to deal directly with Chinese manufacturers. The key to survival is to bypass trading firms. In that way, we can lower distribution costs significantly. The strategy is to strengthen price competitiveness with Mr. Suraz in India and Mr. Zhuo in China selling directly to local manufacturers. That evening, a welcoming party was held at a local restaurant. Its specialty is live squid. Of course, this is their first experience. I want to contribute to the business in China as an engineer and a salesman. India is still the new market. I'm very confident and I'm very hopeful we can make a big difference. There's a limit to what Japanese can do by themselves. I think it's necessary for us to work together with people like them to open up new opportunities in Asia. As I mentioned earlier, this report was compiled before the March 11th earthquake. And following the disaster, many foreign workers left Japan, and we went to find out how some of them were doing. Some foreigners chose to remain in Tokyo after the earthquake. Suraz was one of them. I mean, I was the television. I can see the pain of the people living in Miyagi, Sendai, in those areas. And the Tokyo, still, I thought, okay, come on, it's not that serious. People, so many people are living here. His colleague, Mr. Zhuo, had returned to China before March 11th and came back to Japan only after he persuaded his family that everything would be all right. Japan is facing a difficult economic situation now, but I know it's only temporary, so I'm taking a long-term perspective. I believe my company can overcome any hardship. And that was today's pick.